today's video is going to break down the aggressive catch feature in Madden NFL 16 and what we're hoping to do is give you a glimpse into how you want to be user catching in this year's game. What's up guys, my name is Cody, I like to make Madden 16 videos, post them on the internet and hopefully uh, help people get better at the game. Uh, today's video we're going to take a deeper look at user catching and we're going to try to break it down for you, some of the key points at which you need to uh, uh, work on your user catching game. Now it really doesn't matter what um, formation you run, some are better than others, but what I want to focus on today is simply the user catch itself. Um, if you want to find this play, we're in the shotgun bunch quads and what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, a play like drag under or inside post. Now you don't have to use plays like this. It actually can create the route from your hot routes, but this is going to have the route in its stock for us to be able to use. Alright, so the inside post, what you're going to see is Des Bryant. You want to have a nice, big, tall receiver like Des Bryant with good spectacular catch rating. And Des Bryant's going to be on the outside here. Now what we like to do is against off coverage, uh, and I really like this only against off coverage this year. I don't really think it's very effective against man coverage. Um, excuse me, not man coverage, but press man coverage. Um, so what you're going to see here is we like to put him on this fade route. You can do this by hot routing as well. If you hit triangle, square, and flick the right analog stick up, you're going to be able to flick that up and be a, have him as an option. What you want to do when doing the aggressive catches, you want to hold down L1 for that nice high pass lead. And what you're going to look to do is um, then click onto your receiver, swerve him to the inside, and then hold triangle for the aggressive catch. We'll show you this again. Click him on, bring him to the inside, and what you're going to see is you're going to try to get inside position uh, to get your hands on the ball before the defensive back does. So let's take a look at this instant replay real quick and show you why this is effective. First and foremost, he's going to get a free release off the line of scrimmage. This is going to allow him to get better positioning on the ball. Second of all, what we're going to be able to do here is we want to click on. As you see, once we click on, we're going to move him to the inside just a smidge. As while we're holding triangle, he's going to be able to click on and go up and make a play. I'll show you this one more time and just show. Also, guys, know that this is not 100% effective. Uh, it's about 90. Uh, for me, it's about 90% when it's off coverage. Uh, as far as when it's press coverage, it's uh, a little bit less than that. And that's why I only like to do it when it's off coverage. But against off coverage, what you're going to see here is bring him to the. Oh, whoops, we uh, we had a little poor animation there. Sorry about that. And we'll show you this one more time. And go up and get it. And there you see, that's what we're looking to get every time uh, with Des Bryant on this on this route. Now let me just show you real quick, just a disclaimer. When they're playing two-man under, and that's what you're going to get most of the time, when you get press coverage, you're typically going to get the defense cover two-man or two-man under. It's going to have bracketed coverage, and what that means, it's going to have trail coverage technique, which means that they are going to be underneath the ball, and then the safety is going to be over the top of them. This really small window we had to fit this ball in, and what you're going to see is, Des Bryant's not going to have the same success. You're going to see a lot more drop passes. You're also going to see a lot more interceptions when you try to throw it against press coverage this season. Um, and we'll show you the first one we dropped. And we'll just do three here and we'll show you. This one, or drop again. You see the bracketed coverage makes a difference into how they play. And then we should probably, probably won't catch it a third time. Same exact steps, but the defense is actually different and they're able to cover it. So this shows why the aggressive catch feature is not overpowered in this game, but against off coverage, what we like to do is take advantage of that. And so against America's defense to cover three, we like to really dot it up with these nice aggressive catches to Des Bryant on the outside. So that's how we like to do that in this year's game, guys. This is breaking down user catching in Madden NFL 16 with Des Bryant and the aggressive catch feature. What you want to do is a quick recap is you want to put your receiver on a fade or have a play where he's already on a fade. And then you're going to step up in the pocket, hold L1 to get a nice high pass lead, and then you're going to click on to Des Bryant, swerve him to the inside just a smidge to try to get that inside position. And then you're going to hold triangle to hold the nice aggressive catch feature down, go up and make a play. And uh, that's the whole premise, premise from this. Now you can do this from other routes. As you see on this route, we have a nice deep post. Uh, in the deep post, you can actually throw it up higher uh, if you want to try to get it over defenders. But I recommend the high pass lead mainly for the aggressive catch on the outside um, because it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation that you're trying to get um, you know, with a specific receiver as opposed to throwing it over the middle where you're kind of having to split defenders this uh, gives you a nice option 
uh, for a nice aggressive catch for a touchdown. So that's what we like to do as far as user catching goes in this year's game. Um, but anyways, guys, just wanted to talk about that. Um, guys, if you want more information on Madden 16 on the offensive side of the ball, you can check out our products below. We have a nice offensive ebook there. Uh, it's going to break down a full offensive scheme for you at a very, very reasonable price, in my opinion. Check it out. We break down the Arizona Cardinals offensive guide. Uh, really effective this season, uh, and we primarily focus on some really good passing formations that you can use um, to, to really move the ball effectively this year. So that's what you got for you guys today. And also, real quick, before I go, I want to remind you that I am on Facebook. If you go over to facebook.com slash madentips365, you're going to find my name over there, so you can go and check that out and let me know what you think about the Facebook page. Be sure to like it. And there you can also access some more of my eBooks. So you can check all that stuff out if you would like. Thanks for your time, guys. I really enjoyed